What's going on everybody? Chump Change XD here. Hope you're all staying healthy, having a great day. All right, in this video, I need to take apart this rig right here. So again, as you guys know, this is a 12 card GPU mining rig. These are the 1660 Ti amp versions and it is running on a B250C motherboard. I don't know if you could see back there, but it just has USB connections. So I wanna take that motherboard out because it only accepts 12 GPUs. I wanna get 13 on this rig. I have one more 1660 that I need to throw on the bottom, basically exactly like this guy right here. And I also have the same thing, 13th card on that one right there. So all my 1660 rigs, I wanna have 13 cards on them. So that's my plan. Now, also with this rig right here, I noticed that fan back there is actually on the fritz. Something's up. It seems to be unbalanced because when I put my finger lightly on the center, it actually rebalances and will spin at full speed. So it's kind of weird. I want to see if like a screw is loose or something. I'm hoping that's the case. But either way, we're going to be ripping this mining rig apart, more or less, just disassembling the actual uh, motherboard that we have down there. We're going to be replacing it with an ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus for 13 GPUs. And we're going to be adding those white GPU risers fans onto this rig and onto that rig because I'm just sick of it not being uh, uniform and honestly the light that these things actually put off is really nice. So yeah, without further ado, let me uh, get these things into my garage one by one and we'll go from there. We're gonna start with this guy right here. All right. Here we are back in the garage. Figured it would be easier to put the fans on up here so First things first, I need to rip out this GPU. I wanna see what's going on with it because that is obviously a major issue. So let's do that first. I would like to see if there's anything noticeably wrong with the fan. And if there isn't, then unfortunately, I might have to replace the fans. I mean, I should be an expert at this point. Weird, when I do this, like I can feel it vibrate. Like it's, it's loose almost. And this one doesn't have that. And that stinks, that might be uh, the end of this fan. Yes, yeah, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, but fortunately, I do have replacement Zotac fans for these cards. Literally the same exact fan. These are just a uh, little more shiny and the sticker in the center is different. So I think I'll uh, pop this sticker off and put it on here, just because it looks nice to keep them all uniform. Uh, but that's at a later date. I'm not gonna worry about the fan right now. These cards don't get that hot as it is. All right, so I just threw the card back in because I don't have time in this video to do this, but I did put it on the outside. So this way, when this fan completely stops spinning, I'll notice it. And honestly, it's easier to take it out of this spot than it is the second one or anything in the middle. So it'll just be a lot easier. And then not to mention cooling it will be a lot easier on the outer side versus inner behind a card that's already getting hot. So that's that. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. All right. We're gonna take this board and we're gonna put it in place of this one right now. We're gonna get it all set up, hooked up, and then we're gonna grab 13th GPU and throw it in. So let's do it.
And there we have it. H110 successfully installed, got all the fans installed. As you guys know, in between, if you could see right there, the Molex to the fan is actually plugged into the side of the riser and it actually works just fine. These fans don't pull a lot of watts, so I'm totally comfortable doing this. It's probably not recommended, but all right, so now we have to go downstairs. We gotta grab the other 1660 Ti and I intentionally left the fourth slot open. That is the full 16 slot, which is the display spot for the actual seven inch uh, LCD Kumin screen that you guys could see right there. Everybody literally asks me about that. So link will be down in the description below if you guys are interested to go get one. And yeah, so let's go do that. I'll throw this thing in and we should be able to plug this thing and test it out, make sure everything works. All right, so she's all installed. All the fans spin freely. I actually tucked the corner of this uh, frame into between the housing and the face of the GPU. That's exactly how I have all the other uh, cards and they don't overheat or anything, so it's kind of nice. The air is sucked in from right here and thrown up and it actually leaves a nice little gap between these two cards. So that's how I'm gonna have it running. All right, let's get this downstairs. I wanna plug it in. I wanna make sure all the fans work. I wanna make sure all the cards work. And then we'll take the other rig, we'll throw the fans on it and that's it. All right, so let's get this downstairs. Let's plug it in, make sure it all works. And then uh, we can throw the fans on the other rig. She's back in place. And now we just need to turn it on. I actually already plugged in the uh, power and the ethernet. So uh, yeah, as you can see, breakout boards got power. Let's do it. Nice. Perfect. Um, that's not spinning. All right. Shut that back down and we gotta make sure that everything is connected here. All right, so she has power. I adjusted this one. Let's do it. All right, so I just removed the riser and I put it back on and it seems to be spinning fine. So now let's start the motherboard and hope that it starts up correctly. This one down here is spinning, so we're good there. All right, let's give it a second, make sure it boots up. So this fan seems to be doing a tiny bit better on the outer edge. It's actually spinning fully, which is nice. It might be because I uh, messed around with it, spinning it by hand. But as you can see, all 12 cards, as you can see, 0 through 12, which means all 13 cards are registering. This is actually a 1660 Super, so now we have 12. 1660 Ti amp versions and one super. Let me throw the fans on this rig right here and then we're gonna call it a day. All right, she is all complete. All three rigs now have matching fans, 13 cards. I am super excited. I need to close this grow tent because it gets mighty toasty. Literally, I was sitting right here on the floor in front of this rig just putting all the fans on this one. I had it like kicked out sideways so I could install them while it was still running. And then I shut it down and plugged all the Molexes in. The heat absolutely gets to you when you're uh, sitting right in front of the rig. I need to shut these doors, get this thing exhausting up there. Uh, one last thing before we take off, this right here, this rig, you guys might ask why it's not in the grow tent. This is to actually provide heat for the basement for the time being. So. I want it to be warm for my kids when they come down here and play and stuff. So for the time being, that's gonna be here until I can actually put a small exhaust vent through the wall into there to uh, give them some supplemental heat. Either that or I'll end up cutting in a grate right here on the feed coming down from the ceiling just to uh, heat this room. But I guess we'll have to see. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please stay safe and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Peace.